Hello, welcome to Verbling. Hi there. I'm Teacher Oakley. And uh, for the next hour, we're going to have a little fun messing around with alliteration. Alliteration? Hmm, what's that? Uh, hello, Daniel. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. What about you? A little tired, but I'm well. Thank you very much. Well, it's 1 a.m. here, so... Oh, is it? <laughs> well... I'm a little bit tired, so... Yeah, but yeah. I have been... How do you call that in English? Insomnia, or... Yeah, that's that's right. Insomnia. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> welcome to class. <laughs> I'll see if I can keep you awake for another hour. Okay. By the way, I have a question. Uh, sure. I was uh, listening to your class... Uh, today, uh, and I noticed that you you run out to like to kick out a, <laughs> a neighbor. Or... Yeah, that was weird, huh? Yeah. And what happened? True. What happened? What happened is, yeah, one of the neighbors just, you know, you, here you have a gate and a door which mm -hmm. usually lock you lock, but I had the the gate was unlocked but closed, and the door was uh -huh. um, unlocked, but you know, but he, anyway, he just walked in. I don't know what he wanted. What <laughs> he just walked in? But that, that's usual in the the Philippines, or yeah, actually, it is. Oh, really? Very, very annoying. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, it, I can't say it's really usual, but it just it definitely happens. And this particular neighbor, I know he comes from the countryside, and in the countryside, it's very normal. People don't lock their doors, and people just walk into other people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hilarious. So fun. Yeah. Um, you would never see that in the city, you know, in Manila. Uh, okay. You live in a town, right? Well, I, I live in a city, but there's always people from the country, so I, you know, around. And, um, okay. Anyway, we're gonna have a class. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun with the alliteration. Do you know what alliteration is, Daniel? No, I had no idea. Okay, let's see who knows. Luo, hi. How are you, Luo? Uh, nice to see you again, Oakley. Likewise. Uh, Lua, question of the day. Do you know what alliteration is? Alliteration is uh, ab ab abstract um, abbreviate, abbreviation. Mm, no. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking of acronyms? Uh, I don't um, know. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot that. Um, <laughs> it's a contract, contraction. Contraction. No, that's a different thing. Uh, okay, hang on, Luo. Uh, Tatiana, hello. Greeting. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thanks. Okay. Uh, do you know what alliteration is? Uh, alliteration. Um, I a little bit understand in Russian, but don't know how to explain in English. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Like simultaneous. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say hello to Heidi now. Heidi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. And Heidi, do you remember? Mm -hmm. I've done this class once before, and I very clearly you remember. I remember you were in the class. Do you remember what alliteration is? According to my dictionary. <laughs> the same letter or sound at the beginning. That's of right. Word. Correct. Absolutely. So uh, when you have repeating sounds, very often um, advertisers, marketers use alliteration for catchy little songs or catchy phrases because uh, alliteration te uh, tends to stick in your brain. Um, yeah, okay, Marvin's Mushy Marshmallows, like that. Um, all right, all, okay, several words that begin with the same phonetic sound. Can right. you catch a cute cat? <laughs> and, of course, tongue twisters are also uh, 
exercises in alliteration. Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna just uh, try to create a sentence using uh, all the same sound using alliteration. So of course we're also gonna have to concern ourselves not only with vocabulary, all what are different words that start with that sound, but also uh, recognizing, of course, basic sentence structures, sentence verb noun, and then where do we put adjectives, adverbs, etc. Um, so, a little bit of everything. Let's uh, try it out. We're going to grow ourselves <laughs> an alliterative sentence. Uh, okay, let's start with... Da -da -da -da. Let's start with something easy. We'll start with M. This M sound. Okay, Daniel, uh -huh. give us, shall we say, a subject noun. Starting with M. Anything. If you want, yeah. okay, by the way, for example, if you want to start out on a good foot, you could say, for example, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> All right, there you, there you go. Alliteration. That is, there's an example of alliteration. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, I'll start us off with Mickey Mouse. Okay. Okay. Can, okay, a subject noun. So, Daniel, can you give me a uh, verb, a main verb? Uh, Mickey Mouse make, makes. Makes? Okay, we want to go present tense. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, Mickey Mouse makes a house. Mickey Mouse <laughs> makes a house. All right, well, there's a, that's rhyming. Now you're rhyming. <laughs> you're using alliteration and rhymes, and actually, that's another point. Often you hear alliteration in poetry, actually. There you go. There's another place where you find alliteration. Okay. Um, Luo, can you give? Can you think of uh, Mickey Mouse makes? Can you think of an object noun? No. Hair. Hair? No. <laughs> hair? Mickey Mouse <laughs> makes hair? <laughs> Luo, your mind is... Very cake. interesting. Cake. Um, no, no, no. It's got to begin with M. M. Okay. Yeah. Mickey mm -hmm. Mouse makes what? Makes mouse. Mouse. Makes mouse. Mouse. Mouse for computer. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm confused. Luau, actually, I don't know the answer to this. If, if you have, okay, um, yeah, all right, a mouse, right? Great, yeah, yes, I have one here. Yes. But what if you have two? Two? Mice. Yeah, do, do I say mice for a computer mouse? Mice for computer, I don't know. I don't know either. I actually don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> and I am okay. the English teacher. I have no idea. Do I have to say mouses? I have two mouses for my computer. Because, of course, the small animal, um, you would say mouse or mice, plural. What an interesting thing. Okay, fine. I think it's mouses. So if I want to talk about a countable object, and clearly a computer mouse is countable, one, two, three. Um, maybe, uh, maybe milky meal? <laughs> milky meal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, I, I let's. I'm gonna go in order here. Well, I'm gonna say mouses. Okay. Um, makes mouses. Mickey Mouse makes mouses. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Uh, Tatiana. Um, what can we add? How to? Uh, what can we do to to add on to our sentence? Do you have any idea? Okay, you did it when you gave me milky meal. All right. Uh, we can add an adjective. Ma, ma, munch, munch, milky meal, <laughs> munches. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so far we have uh, Mickey Mouse makes mouses. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
Okay, that's very interesting. Um, what adjective can we use? We can use an adjective to describe Mickey Mouse. We can use an adjective to describe mouses. Modeling, mm -hmm. no? Oh, well then now you're getting the adverbs. Hold that thought, Daniel. Um, yeah, we can definitely add adverbs to modify the verb. So there's a lot of things we can do to add more M words. Tatiana, can you think of an, an adjective that starts with M? Milky. <laughs> Melting. <laughs> Melting. Uh, okay. Mickey Mouse makes melting mouses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird, but many, uh, many, um, ah, many mouses. <laughs> okay, many. Hold that thought, Heidi. Okay, here we go, because it's going to start getting confusing. I'll screen share this. Here we have Mickey Mouse makes melting mouses. For Heidi, luck. for uh -huh. luck. For Mac, Mac computer, Mac, 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 Mac computer, Mac, Mac, oh. Mac. <coughs> Macintosh. Aha. Okay. No, Mac is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. For Mac. Uh, all right. We'll we'll throw it. We'll, I'll I'll allow prepositions or articles that are not. Um, that are not alliterative, that are not uh, with that sound. All right, Daniel, you had a couple ideas. Madly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, where, where do you put it? Mickey Mouse Madly? To be safe, I can, I can always be safe putting an adverb in front of the verb. Uh, Mickey Mouse Madly makes melting mouses. Madly, madly Mickey Mouse is better. Madly. Mad. Mad Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mad Mickey Mouse madly makes. Well, you can, yeah, you can definitely, we can definitely play around with an adjective in front of Mickey Mouse. Uh, okay. L uh, Luo, it's your turn. Yes. Um, why, why we should uh, make the mouse mouse to plural? Um, okay. Good question. I started to explain that, and then I got distracted. Because a mouse, which you use for a computer, it's countable, right? Yes. Uh, and any time we're talking about countable nouns in general, we, t we use plurals. For example, I like dogs. Dogs as an idea, dogs as a, in general. Um, of course, if I'm talking specific, a dog, I saw a dog, the dog was walking. Uh, yeah, I use singular. Um, but clearly, Mickey Mouse is mass-producing <laughs> melting mouses. <laughs> so it would have to be plural, and that's why I got very, very confused because I, you know, mice, the animal, or, or mouse mice. <laughs> but I'm not sure about this. I really, I don't know. Uh, of course, Microsoft Word is telling me this is wrong. But <laughs> a mouse that you use for your computer, I. I'm not sure if it's actually mice, plural. Can you really say I have three mice for my computer? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um, anyway, well, that's why. Uh, if I said he makes melting pencils, mm -hmm. it would definitely you wouldn't say melting pencil. He makes melting pencil. That makes no sense, right? Uh, okay. Unless we're talking about one. Okay, so give me another M word. Uh, where can I put it? Um, Mickey Mouse Melly makes melty mouses for Mac under the moon. Moon. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Can we make a new sentence or we gotta keep one? No, one, one sentence. When we can't possibly think of anything else to do, then we'll, we'll, we'll choose uh, another sound. Under the moon. Okay, well, you know, all right, I guess. All right, um, all right, that's obviously a preposition in an article, and I just said I would allow that. Okay, fine. Tatiana. 
Ah, M word. And where do I put it? Um. Uh, так, Mickey Mouse madly makes melting mouses for Mac under the moon, uh, under the melon moon. <laughs> under the what? Melon moon? Melon, yeah. <laughs> melon moon. <laughs> okay. I've never heard it called a melon moon. <laughs> Is this a common thing in Russia? <laughs> it's, 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 summer. <laughs> it's a melon moon. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Heidi. Mini. Mini. Mini what? Mini. Mini. Mini? Mini Mouse? Yeah. Yeah, where are we going to fit that? How are you going to put that in the sentence? Mini, mini, metal moon. <laughs> oh, mini? Yes. Oh, okay. You like mini skirt, or like, like mini. Mini. Uh, how do you write mini? Mini. Very easy. M I N I. N Y. N -Y. Oh, okay. Oops. Like mini, mini skirt. Oh, so are you we making? Out. Are we making this a hyphenated mini melon moon? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how that's done. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, Ken. When did you get in here? I didn't. I didn't. Yes, see just you. now. Hi. Okay. Hi. All right. We're testing ourselves. We're seeing how many uh, M words and M sounds we can add to this sentence and just grow it and grow it and grow it until our brains blow up. Okay, so Ken, mm -hmm. welcome to the class. And what M word could we add and where? Uh, Mickey Mouse madly makes melting mouse. If I could give you a up. hint, adjective. Mm -hmm. There's still mm -hmm. plenty of room here for adjectives or adverbs. Mount Meadow Moon doing. Mashed potato. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Doing mashed potato? Uh, what? Mouse potato, kind of new English word. Uh, okay, where would I put mashed potato? And anyway, potato is not an M word. We we have to use only M words uh, except for um, articles or but, prepositions. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, the rules. Mashed potato. And, and your mashed potato, of course, are, are smashed up potatoes, mm -hmm. delicious, with milk and butter. Uh, and kind of mouse potato. <laughs> but also, you know, mashed potato is also a dance. Are you aware of that? Ah, oh, yeah, yes, I know. Mashed potato dance. Do the mashed potato. Mm. Mashed potato. <laughs> the only M word uh, yeah. under the mini metal moon. Uh, with a mellow wine. Uh, uh, well, no, 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 wine. With a uh, mellow mood. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Are you saying with a mellow mood? Mm. Okay. If you want to location with two M's, you can do that. Um, how about, but not with? Okay, uh, I wouldn't say he is with a mellow mood. Okay, I would have to say he is in a mellow mood. In a mellow mood. Okay. Okay. All right, a person is in a mood, not w not with a mood. Um, all right, Mickey Mouse madly makes melting mouses for Mac under the mini melon moon in a mellow mood. <laughs> Daniel. Men manually. Yeah, I'm waiting for that one, Tatiana. Daniel? Uh, Mickey Mouse madly makes magical melting mouse. Magical melting mouse. Of course he does. He's he's Mickey Mouse. He's always <laughs> magical. Magical melting mouses. Very good. Yeah, keep in mind, okay. Uh, yeah, we still got plenty of room for adjectives, or maybe even adverbs. Uh, Luau. Yes, Mickey Mouse madly makes magical melting mouses for Mac 
under the mini Miller moon in a uh, Miller moon in a uh, middle. What? Middle. Where do you want middle? In the middle? Yeah. In, in the middle, yeah, in the middle. Cross end. A new prepositional phrase. Hmm. Oh, well, okay. In the middle of what? <laughs> okay. Mm, Tatiana. Oh, sorry, sorry. What, what I was saying is middle, not middle. It, another middle. It's a. It's a for you know. Uh, middle, middle. Let me touch. Middle. Oh, and middle, metal. middle. Okay, mi middle, middle is okay. I think. <laughs> yeah. But you. You said metal. Is that right? M e a d o w. M e a o. D o w. D o w. Oh, metal. <laughs> What's that? Okay. <laughs> In the middle, metal, meadow. <laughs> um, oh wow. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, in the middle of the meadow. Okay, there you go. How about that, Luo? A meadow is a field. Uh, a meadow is uh, the sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Uh, the meadow is like a field usually used for grazing animals. My grandson. Pasture. Okay. So call it pasture. Pasture. Yeah, yeah is a synonym. That's right. Yep, absolutely. Meadow, you can find a meadow in the middle of a forest, for example, a, sh a small grassy area. Mm, okay. Okay. Pasture is very specifically, definitely for animals to be kept on and feed. But a meadow is just a treeless area, really. Much. Uh, macho Mickey Mouse. Okay. Huh? Macho Mickey Mouse? Macho. Okay. Hold that thought. I don't want to skip Tatiana. Tatiana, you had an idea earlier. Do you uh, yeah, uh, can I edit uh, for the beginning? Uh, for example, um, Mary Mickey Mouse medley makes magical. Uh, Mary, for example. Mary, Mary, like happy? Uh huh, yeah. Like Merry Christmas. Uh, yes, yeah. Mary yeah. Mickey Mouse medley. Um, Makes maroon magical mountain mouses. Ah, uh, maroon. Maroon. My favorite colors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really. <laughs> ah, not really. <laughs> not really. Sometimes in Russia they say this is color for adults, for um, old women. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, mean widow, widow. <laughs> For widows. <laughs> widow, uh, widow color. That's funny. Merry Mickey Mouse medley makes maroon magical melting mouses manually. <laughs> manually, another. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We got to give somebody else a turn here, though. Uh, Heidi. Mm hmm melting metallic metallic mouth. Okay. Uh da -da 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 -da. okay, where can we put it? Makes maroon magical melting metallic. Metallic mouses. Maroon magical metallic melting. Maroon magical metallic melting. Yeah, okay, you're you're right, actually. Comes it would come here. Metallic mouses. Okay. Who wants a melting mouse? That's the part I don't understand. Daniel. Uh, at the oh, end. My uh, gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With mini mouse. <laughs> with mini mouse. <laughs> of course. With mini mouse. Well, of course. Uh, all right. Very good. Ken. This mini mouse. Uh, uh, with with uh, with mini mouse uh, with minor mini mouse with minor 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 
Are you saying that she's under 18? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> really? I was <laughs> I com so. I completely know. unaware of that. I had no idea that Mickey Mouse was dating a woman under 18. I had <laughs> no idea. Disney, what has happened to Disney? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, wow. Uh, Luo, is there anything else we can Me do here? Medium. From Sorry? Melting. I have a bad connection. <laughs> medium. Okay. Medium. Medium Mary Magical Mutant. Medium is a size. Oh, yeah, okay. Medium makes medium. Um, maroon Magical. Okay, I have a... Medium is a size. Makes medium. And I do have a problem here. I, my... Uh, my... Voc uh, my adjective order here. Size first, then color. Magical. This is weird, but uh, this would definitely be opinion, I guess. Magical. Is that an opinion adjective? I think so. Okay, that would go there. And then gerund. Uh, okay. Magical melting. Uh, magical metallic. Metallic mouses, okay, that's right. All right, this comes before the noun. This is the material. All right, this is tough because we really have to know adjective order. <laughs> All right, uh, I can live with that. Uh, Tatiana, my goodness. Uh, is there anything else I, we can do? Here? No. Uh -huh. For example, um, for Mark under the mini melon moon in a mushy mellow mood. <laughs> Uh, Marshy? Oh, yeah. No, 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 not this. Uh, oh, uh, I, um, um, mellow mood in the middle of the marshy meadow. Yeah, I was going to say that would definitely be better with meadow. A marshy meadow. Uh, yeah, yeah, marshy meadow right. with with minor mini mouse. Uh, for example, mm, uh, mm, with a uh, musky minor mini mouse. <laughs> Musky, yeah. <laughs> musky. Oh my god. Yeah, man, man. Uh huh. Okay. All right. For those who are not unfamiliar, uh, uh, musky mean uh, ma mini mouse. Uh, for example, messing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> messing. Okay. All right. We want to add another verb. Okay. Let me hold on before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Um. We've introduced a couple very interesting vocabulary words. Marshy, okay, meaning a wet area, a marsh, not really a swamp and not a meadow. Something sort of in between is a marsh a noun, and marshy means very wet. Uh, and musky, uh, musky, Tatiana, mini mus <laughs> musky, D okay. okay. What, I, what does musky mean, Tatiana? Uh, who, uh, musky who has uh, uh, a little voice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, that is very interesting. Um, a, a voice. Okay. Musky actually means it's a, it's a smell. <laughs> it's a sort of I don't know how. Ah, to yeah, yeah. It. It's another meaning. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. It's a it's a type of a smell that usually is yeah, associated yeah, yeah. with uh -huh. men. Actually. <laughs> Do you have Normally. Wikipedia open? Me? No. No, I mean uh, Tatiana. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah. I don't know about the sound of a a voice. If that's possibly a meaning that I do not know. I don't know that. I know husky. Somebody who has a husky voice maybe smoked way too many cigarettes, so they have a kind of gravelly husky voice, <laughs> kind of like that. Uh, isn't musky the same? I no, not not as far as I know. 
Maybe. It could, you know, because musky smell is kind of a heavy smell. So possibly this is a co-location. It kind of makes sense, actually. Okay. actually. In, in a way, it sort of makes sense. Maybe it's a co-location I'm just not familiar with. Could be. Either way. <laughs> Either way, maybe it's the way she smells, maybe it's the way she sounds. <laughs> okay. It still works as an adjective. Interesting. Husky is also can be described to uh, dis can also describe someone's physique, their shape. Uh, a husky man is not really fat, but he's pretty big. Big all everywhere. Like how is it? Like what? Heavy set. Oh, very much the same. Yeah, very good. Equal. Good synonym. Okay. Uh, husky. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Whose turn is it here? I, Daniel? I, th I think it's your turn. Mm, I think it's Heidi, no? Yeah. Heidi? Oh, yeah, it is Heidi's turn. You're right. Thank you. Don't you don't want to skip other person, but you want to skip me. No, no, I'm just, I'm confused because I try to call on everyone in the order they entered the class, but then I get confused when I do that. I'm not sure why I do that. Heidi, what do you think? Migrated. Migrated. Mary. Migrated? Migrated. Mary, a mighty Mickey Mouse. Okay, wait a minute. You want it here in the front? Yeah. My like that? Migrated Mary, mighty, mighty, very strong, powerful, mighty Mickey Mouse. You know, there's another mouse called Mighty Mouse. Uh, before I um I watch the TV, Mighty Mouse, do you know? <laughs> yeah, I that's yeah I do. But he's another guy. Mighty Mouse to save the day. Here I am to save the day. Mighty Mouse is on the way. <laughs> right? That one? <laughs> uh, okay. Migrated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess that could be used as an adjective. All right. The birds that have already migrated, they have come to their whatever, summer or winter area migrated or it could be migrating which do you prefer <laughs> migrated migrated all right they finished their migration oh okay all right daniel can we do anything else with this yeah at the end in a in a majestic medical machine monthly what <laughs> yeah uh okay under the mini melon moon in a mellow mood in the middle of the marshy meadow with musky minor mini mass. Okay, but we can't we can't be in two places at once. We're already in the middle of a marshy meadow. Oh using using a machine how do you mm. <laughs> unless you mean mini mouse is somewhere else, but she's she's with Mickey Mouse, as far as I could tell. <laughs> No. Oh man! This is what happens when you add too many prepositional phrases? <laughs> you get confused. You have two prepositional phrases of place. That's not a no-no in English. You should never do that. It's okay to have a prepositional phrase of place, another one of time, another one of purpose. Um, yeah. On on a no. That, that not that's gonna work, right? On a on a Better? machine. No. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the middle of a marshy meadow. Um. Oh, you know, you got that machine thing on your brain. We're not. You could purpose. Okay, with a machine. With a. How about with a? Oh yeah, with a. Oh yeah. With a majestic medical machine monthly. Okay, I don't get the monthly part. With a majestic medical? What yeah. <laughs> medical machine. 
They're making metallic mouses with a majestic medical machine. Monthly. Yeah, crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is crazy. Uh, no, no, no. Monthly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can. I get it. The whole thing. Monthly. Oh my gosh. All right. Ken. Yes. Can you can you say this whole thing? Okay. Migrated Mary Mighty Mikey Mars madly makes medium maroon magical melting metallic masses manually for Mark under the mini metal mold in a metal mold in the middle of the marshy middle with the masky mirror a minor mini mouse with the majestic metal machine monthly. Uh, majestic medical machine monthly. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that was very good. Okay. Do you want to add anything to this, Ken? <laughs> In a miraculously microchip. Oh, um, what? <laughs> what? Where, did, where would that go? Uh, last, after the monthly, in a miraculously microchip. Wait, I don't get this. They're inside a microchip? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't get this. Miraculous. A uh, miraculous, yeah. I think. Okay, uh, I just don't get this. How can it be inside a microchip? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a minute. They're in the middle of a marshy meadow. Oh. Inside could work now. In a miraculous microchip. I don't. I don't get it. Everything <laughs> are a Cyprus. It's digital. No, this. Or like, is this like Tron or something? Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Mm. All right. Uh, I don't really understand that at all. <laughs> it's 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 beyond my comprehension at this point. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Oh my gosh! You could keep going forever with M. You know what? Let's make this harder, shall we? <laughs> let's try something else. Uh, let's try a different sound. Uh, Let's try TH sounds, both, okay? Voice and voiceless. How about TH? Let's start over again. Let's start a new business. Well, give me a an object noun. Object mm. noun. Oh. Thug. Three thug. Sucks. Three thugs. Okay, great. Uh, Heidi, how about a verb? What the thug? What's a thug? A thug is a really is a kind is a criminal or someone with criminal tendencies, someone who's uh, prone to violence. Um, basically, uh, sort of a low person. Oh, he's a thug, meaning. A petty criminal. An, an unimportant, not too bright, violent criminal is a thug. Such as a gang member, perhaps. All right. Heidi? Thought. Thought of what? Thought? Thought of. Thought? Yeah, thought. Okay. That's, that's great. Uh, Daniel? Three thugs thought... I thought that... That. Oh. That. Okay. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Daniel. Three thugs thought, thought that. The, uh, the, uh, um, oh man. <laughs> three. three. Uh, that's a three. <laughs> three thugs thought that the three throng thongs. <laughs> 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I will say, um, let me think about the... By the way, mm -hmm. you can do this, too. You can, if the TH, it's okay if the TH sound is at the end of the word. I'll, I'll let you do that, too, with this. Okay, so I thought that the, can I say three, three thick? No, three yeah. thick, no, 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 at, oh. the, at the first part. Uh, three thick thugs. Three thick thugs. Uh -huh. Sure. Three thick thugs. Okay. Uh, of course, are they thick because they're husky? <laughs> or are they thick <laughs> because they're not too smart? <laughs> okay. Ken, three thick thugs thought that the... Uh, <laughs> Thunder load. Sorry? Uh, so the Thunderbird. Mm, yeah, that's good. What? Thunderbird. You know, Thunderbird. Thunderbird? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you mean like the car? A uh, kind of British uh, puppet show called Thunderbird. Uh, go. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't know that. It's also a famous American car. <laughs> I see. Often named, called a named after that show. I don't know about that. Thunderbird. Well, Thunderbirds were came out in the sixties. Mm -hmm. Pretty old. Same, same They're cool cars. They are the cars with the big fins. They're really big mm -hmm. cars and they mm -hmm. have the big yeah. fins that stick up. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. okay. okay. Either way, Thunderbird the puppet, Thunderbird the car. <laughs> Thunderbird. <laughs> um, uh, um all right. Uh, Luo? On the Thunder Road. What's that? On the Thunder Road. On the Thunderbird? Thunderbird on the Thunder Road. <laughs> or Thunder Street, whatever. On the... I don't get it. Thunder Street? Yeah. Th thunder, thunder. Well, we can't have Thunder Street. Thunder Road? No, we with the H. Yeah, that's not with TH. Thunder Thruway. Uh, okay, Thunderpass. okay. That's a thunder Pass. <laughs> no, Underpass, <laughs> not Thunder Pass. <laughs> Ouch. Luel. Yeah. Mm, what three, three thrusted, six sucks. Three what? Thrusted. Being um, by... by uh, by a knife. Thrusted? They're, they're thrusted? Thrust. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think we can use this as an adjective. Uh, yeah. I don't think we can use this as an adjective. I mean, to thrust is a verb. And obviously, mm -hmm. past tense verb, he thrusted a knife into... But we can't describe someone as thrusted. He is thrusted. No. I'm going to just say, have to say no here, Luel. Okay, that, three. Uh, no, no offense, but uh, we can use three tie, six sucks. Tie. Three tie? <laughs> No really? offense, no offense, just to this. No, no I'm just <laughs> laughing because, of course, it doesn't have the phonetic sound. Um, uh, I'll, I'll leave it for fun, but it, it's not alliteration. Alliteration does not even have to be, for example, the same letters. For example, if I was doing SH, she shines machines, even though machines comes with CH, it's... It's about the phonetics, not the spelling. Three tie. Okay, um, three six sucks. So that's uh, that uh, thrusted, thrusted, thruster, thrust the sandbird. Thrust the sandbird. What? Thrust also with knife. Thrust the sun thunderbird. Yeah, I don't get it. How do you thrust the Thunderbird? 
<laughs> I, I don't understand. To thrust is to stab. <laughs> thrust a thunderbird? Yeah. You, know, you have to, and it needs, thrust needs an object, so are they... <coughs> uh... Yeah, that doesn't actually work. Uh, thrust is the Thunderbird. I think it's more. Uh, I think it's more uh, reasonable. That, that, thrust that is the thrust. Thunder, Thunderbird. Thrust that. Pro thrust. Could thrust the uh, yeah um, yes yeah yeah that's that's right. Thrust, thrust to the Thunderbird. Thunder Thunderbird. Uh, no ED. Okay. Thrust is a Thunderbird. All right. Um, all right. That is really weird. You thrust a knife. So you're, if you thrust a car, uh, you can say uh, the the th thrust okay. the thrust a, that they thrust to the Thunderbird. Yeah. Ah, I'm getting very confused. Um, <laughs> thrust is also, of course, the vol um, the amount of energy that it's used to push uh, a car or a rocket, uh, for example. All right. Uh, so it can be a noun. So. Mm, Thought that thrust the thun. Wait a minute. Three thick thugs thought that thrust. How about thrusting? Thrusting the Thunderbird. Okay. All right. When you accelerate. Okay. Here we go. When you accelerate, you're adding thrust. Okay. So this actually, finally, I think this works. But thrusting the Thunderbird, if we consider that Thunderbird is a car, and not a puppet. Woo, that was very difficult to to figure out. Um, Heidi? Crashing the Thunderbird to the theater. Okay, there we go. And do we want theater? American spelling? Or theater? <laughs> Pretty spelling. Uh, okay. I'm American. I'm calling it a theater. Uh, okay, thought that thrusting the Thunderbird to the theater. What did they think? Hmm. Daniel. Thermal. Thermal Thunderbird. Thermal Thunderbird. Uh, okay. Thermal powered. <laughs> the thermal powered Thunderbird. That's what I want to see, Daniel. Thermal powered cars. <laughs> I want somebody to invent that. <laughs> Genius. Uh, Ken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. These people mm -hmm. thought, okay, that thrusting the thermal Thunderbird to the theater, mm -hmm. what? They thought it did what? What is... Uh, with their themes. Huh? Uh, I, you know what we need is some kind of verb here. They thought that doing this thickened something like that. Uh, what was your idea, Ken? Uh, with their themes. Themes. With their themes. Hmm. Okay, where do you want that? After thugs? Yeah, the after the fear. Yeah, no matter. Okay. With their themes. Thrusting the thermal thunder bird to the theater with their themes, it sounds like they're thrusting a car with themes. How do you do that? Um, that really doesn't make sense. Yeah. With a to towing truck. <laughs> with a tow truck. <laughs> You know, I can I can cut this, and I can paste it over here. Mm -hmm. Three thick thugs with their themes. 
Now this applies to the thugs. It describes the thugs. Okay. Okay, it doesn't describe anything else. Uh, Heidi? They, they thrusting. They were they thrusting. Not the thrusting. What, what is things? There. That they, they, they are thrusting. Like that? No, they are, they are, there. Where? Because oh, it, it needs subject. So that they are thrusting the. Summer, okay, summer with their themes, thought that they are. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't. Well, we can't have R. So, both of you are. Oh, okay, I see. I'm cheating a little. Thought that they are thrusting their thermal Thunderbird to the theater. With uh, their thumb. 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 Uh, with their thumb. At the end. With yeah. Okay, but that time, Heidi, you skipped Luau. <laughs> Luo? Well, um, three six sucks with their seams, <laughs> uh, thought that they are throw throw their uh, throw their uh, throw their knives throw their throw their oh I don't know. Um, right. How about where right. their where their thumbs is sankness sankness. Thankness in the end. What? Thankness. Th thankness? Yeah. Not a word. Uh, thank list. A L E S S. Thankless. thankless. Is thankless. Yeah. Is thankless. Okay. Yeah. Uh, except that we can't have is. Uh, thumbs. And also with their thumbs, plural, we need thumbs are thankless, but that doesn't that doesn't really make sense. Uh, thought that they're with their thankless. The what's that? D. We could have thankless. Yeah. Yes, we could definitely do that and then reposition it somewhere else with a verb uh, with their themes you can put it in front of where do you want thanklessly? Thanklessly thought uh, that they're thanklessly thrusting <laughs> thanklessly thrusting thanklessly Thank thrusting thanklessly thrusting <laughs> thanklessly thrusting two words I never thought I'd say together but okay um, <laughs> Okay, uh, by the way, uh, th somebody asked me a long time ago what are themes, and I forgot to answer. Um, themes are general ideas to guide you. Uh, for example, if you have a theme party, okay, our themes will be, okay, our, our themes are, are love, so we'll cut out hearts and cu cupids and arrows. That's your theme, okay? If you're I don't know. Your restaurant has a theme. It's a Mexican restaurant, so our theme is Mexican. So we put up uh, big hats and syrups and um, Mexican decorations, maracas. I don't know things that people think of as Mexican. That's your theme. It's like an idea. So I have no idea what they're. This is a very strange phrase. This would not be normal in English. You wouldn't say a person with their theme. Actually, doesn't really make sense. Uh, people, people don't generally have themes. <laughs> What's your theme? Although, for many years, uh, I kind of thought I should have my own theme song, but <laughs> it's just me. Okay. Anyway, uh, Daniel, <laughs> any ideas? More th Three, thankful. Thankful. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Three thick, thankful thugs. Okay. Three thick, thankful thugs. Very good. Ken? Mm -hmm. mm. Thanks to three thick, thankful thugs. I go, what? Thanks to at the beginning. Oh. Okay. Three thick, thankful thugs with their themes thought that they're. Uh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense either, Ken. Mm -hmm. If we simplify it, thanks to three people thought. Okay. So we couldn't have a sentence. Well, thanks to the three people thought that they're thanklessly thrusting. That doesn't thanks actually make to, sense. Thanks to uh, thy, comma. Thanks to what? Thy. Bly. Thy. Like old English. Thy? Thy, yeah. Thanks to thy, comma. Yeah, it doesn't really help. Uh, yeah. Um, thy is, uh, it's Old English, okay? And it is basically just the. <laughs> really? Not you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It can be you. Um, yeah. Um, or your. The. Okay, it's your. Actually, I'm sorry. You're right. It's possessive pronoun. Thanks to your three. That doesn't really help. Thanks to your three people. Thought. Thanks to. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Thy. Uh, thank you. Thy. Okay. No. Uh, Come. All right. Here. Here. Okay. Thanks to three. Blah 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 blah. Uh, thanks to three. With all their themes. Comma. <laughs> they thought. All right. There. <laughs> now it works. Now I. If, if I. Okay. Now it works. If you start a sentence with thanks to something, this is actually a discourse marker. This is actually, a, we've created a monster discourse marker. This is basically, the whole thing is considered to be uh, basically like an adverb. <laughs> this is the most monstrously huge one I've ever seen in my life. But uh, basically, that's its function. So just like saying occasionally, comma, I go to the movies alone. This thanks to um, thanks to good fortune, comma, uh, I made a lot of money last year. <coughs> All right, it's functioning just like using an adverb or um, an adverb clause. <laughs> okay, uh, guess what? We're uh, out of time. Um, Heidi. Can you say the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Thanks to three six sample tags with their themes. They thought that, that they are thanklessly thrusting <laughs> 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 that from the bar to the theater with their thumbs. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Daniel, can you say it? Uh, thanks to the thanks to three thing thick thankful thoughts with their things, they thought uh, that they they they're thanklessly thrusting the thermal thunderbird to the theater with their thumbs. Yeah, it, um, gets, and that's why. it gets hard and right around the middle can, here. Can you read it? Can you read it quickly? Me. Thanks to three thick thankful thugs with their themes, they thought that their thanklessly thrusting the thermal thunderbird to the theater with their thumbs. 
This part is hard. Yeah. <laughs> they are thanklessly <laughs> thrusting. Thankless. There's something very, very <laughs> difficult about that part. Very difficult. Yeah, Thankless. yeah it is. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you can uh, try it at home. <laughs> Don't try this at home. I'm very sorry, but I have to go because I have to teach another class. So, uh, got a one-on-one -on -one class. Got to go. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm sure I'll see you later. Okay. Bye.